All right, and up next is actually a new facility that I heard that Woodward used to have a gymnasium for cheer and everything, yeah. and now they got rid of that, and now they are doing this new progression center, which is awesome for anyone that's trying to look to progress, do something new, beginner at, it looks like both street and transition, but let's take a deeper yeah. look. Yeah, back in, what was it, 2019? when I went before COVID, mm -hmm. they had it open and we did a class with Michelle, a cartwheel class or some kind of class that we took in the gymnasium. Mm -hmm. And it used to be, yeah, like a cheer gym. And then I think every year since it had been closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's that big room that's usually next to the Moxie shop. Mm -hmm. When you get there, if you're looking for it, wondering where it's at, it's in the hangar. Um, you would like go in and then by the moxie shop to the left you'll see it there might be bigger doors to it too that might be open yeah i remember last year if you went to camp for 2023 they were definitely working on it and you got a glimpse as to like what it looked like they used to just have like a big metal fence but i'm sure but now it's probably yeah. gone but i haven't been since this has been released so it'll be our first time checking it out all together so that's exciting. i think i'm most excited for this yeah me too and it's indoors and it's pretty big so it's gonna provide us a lot of extra space for in case anything happens classes that are in the poco loco and in the junction could totally fit in to the progression center already liking the color scheme if you are a pink and green fan and if you have Super moxie smooth. beach bunnies they'll match <laughs> that rail is awesome oh yeah a long like round flat rail oh i didn't see that Ooh, that's a good, like, to learn how to carve. Yep. Quarter pipes for days. And lots of rails. Yeah, especially, like, that rail. Anything that has that angle is what I need to work on. Yeah, it's fun to sort of jump on those. <gasps> the foam pit. Oh, you could skate and, like, flip into it. <laughs> I could see Jaquan. That's Jaquan all over. They can do front flips off grinds. <laughs> Dude, I gotta make sure I don't flip and knee my face, that's for sure. Okay, see, that's really cool. That's what I'm excited for, too. That's your 360s off rails. Dude. Maybe we even start with 180s with that. Yeah, that would be really nice. Yeah. I just like the bump to rail, too. It would be a good yeah, practice. Yeah, you could even probably, like, ride up that. Yeah, the ledge. That's cool. And the fact that everything's brand new and perfect. I know. See, that's a, that's a good a side. A lot of small, like, down ledges, like, very tiny, like, where you could just kind of step onto it if you wanted to. Yeah. Just to get the feel of, like, what it feels like to go down. Is this where Megan's going to be teaching her rail classes? Because I could definitely see Megan teaching all the rail classes here. Yes. A lot of beginner classes, a lot of the street classes are going to be happening here. I'm only teaching four classes because I definitely want to take some classes this time around. So uh, if you are taking some of those real classes, I'll probably be seeing you because I definitely want to learn from Megan. Oh, well, there's another mini ramp, obviously, as yeah, you can see yeah, here. Yeah. And how long is that? That it's looks like huge. So just imagine like all the campers we usually have just like huddled up on that little mini mini in the art yeah. park. Yeah. Now we have like three locations to disperse those yeah. campers. So everyone's gonna get so much more chance to actually participate and like skate the ramp. That that actually reminds me of if you've been to Camp East, they do have like a mini area in one of the. It's the one next to Cloud Nine. But anyways, it, it they have this really long mini with a spine in there. It's similar to that, but this one does not have the spine. But it allows you to have like two classes at the same time, pretty much, and not be in each other's way. And I like that it has like the different like the different transitions. The different levels. Yeah. yeah. So that way once you start getting real confident in the shorter one, you can keep leveling up during the class. Yeah, I see like I'm seeing like a lot of stepping stones. Like progr like progression center is the perfect name for, for this area yeah. because you can like start on the flat rail and then you can kind of go to the one that's the same size right there, but it's over at like a gap. Yeah. And then you can go to the one that has like the little angle over a gap and you can kind of like step it up little yeah. by little. Yeah, anyone that's trying to learn, I feel oh, like anything street, that is your spot. So there is a big door, it looks like, that opens up to 
like the front oh, of the plaza yeah, area. Yeah. Okay, cool. This progression center is really awesome. I believe I'm going to be teaching some classes in here, so I will see you there if you are taking any beginner uh, street classes. That's I think that's where my beginner street classes would be. Yeah, you might even have a drop-in class. Ooh. Yeah, keep an eye out for the schedule and the map, especially um, if it rains. I, I feel like every year I'm like, okay, cool, this was fun. And then, like, obviously you work on things throughout the year, and you come back and you're like, now I could do this on there. And it just, like, fills up every single time. And, yeah, I love that there's so many mini ramps because that's usually the problem. There's, like, two options usually, and they're so small. So having yeah. a bunch of different options you can run off because the number one rule is there are no rules other than having your helmet on oh. hello <laughs> <laughs> sorry we got a call from the megan <gasps> did they did you answer what's up megan i'm in the truck the moxie truck oh yeah megan come here come here real quick come here all right, so we have a guest, special guest here. Oh, shit. The I Megan. I realize that was The one. Megan. But since you're here, let's let you have a quick look. That looks so sick. Wait, let me go back. It's like... Ooh. Dude, it's so, so crazy. So colorful. All the ledges and wheels. Yeah. We're going to do a game of skate on this rail in box right there. Ooh, yep. Maybe a streaking ski. Advance only. More like share each other's tricks, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. Like there's not really probably going to be a winner. Wait, isn't that sick? Yeah, I'm so stoked. So they just redid um, a bunch of stuff there from last year? Where, yeah. Like, how long were they like, I don't know. Poco Loco was closed for a while. <clears throat> and last year it wasn't even open. So we didn't okay. even have it available. Because, yeah, I don't even really remember what they're called, like all the actual yeah. names of the places. And then this used to be the gymnasium. Okay. That was always closed. I mean, I have Ivy teach me how to do this. You could do, like, Ronnie. front flips off of a ledge. A rail or something? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's Practice what you should do. off of I know. Grinds. That's what I mean. Okay. What are the day passes? Okay, so this year we are doing something a little bit different. Um, on Saturday, it's the full day, we are opening it up to day campers. So okay. people can actually buy a day pass to camp, so they won't be sleeping there. But breakfast, lunch, and dinner is included. They can take any of the classes they want. Basically, they are just like all the other campers. Okay. Um, but they just leave at the end of the night. So if they didn't want to buy the whole weekend, they could just... Exactly, yeah. Perfect. So it's great for locals. Um, I know there's some locals that live around Tehachapi that are going to be there. If you are nearby and you do want to come for just one day at Woodward Camp, it is $200. Um, you can purchase a ticket at moxieskates.com. And yeah, come party with us. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs>